guess what? Sony PlayStation Network is back at it again. We got 117 countries not supported by PSN. That means bye-bye. No more game. Can't buy. Can't play. Unless you cheese it and get account with the uh, VPN help. You can create one, but using VPN most likely. And there's a chance you will get wrecked, banned, but they won't do that, hopefully, because uh, they're using it. Usually they ban you if uh, you try to buy cheaper games from different regions. But if you're not planning to do that, most likely nothing's going to happen. But the uh, fact that you are have to kind of take these workarounds to play your fucking favorite game at least occasionally it's abysmal i am fueled with anger of what happened because my game eft recently got pay to win shit interjected into it and now sony playstation the motherfuckers well sony network i think it's the same shit are screwing their fucking politics into our mouths. We bought the game on Steam. We like it there. For three months it worked perfectly fine. Nope. We had too much fun, I guess. It's time to log into another goddamn account. Which, hey, can be hacked. Account details can be completely spread. Our credit card details can be leaked. Oh, shit. And... Oh my god, past decade was pretty furious for Sony. I guess it's fine for us to lose our goddamn credibility, Sony says. Let them just be forced into our services. That's gonna boost up our confidence as a company. Our shares gonna cost more and, and wow, we're gonna be rich. No, man, we gamers, you know what? I think it's time to not just confront to that shit anymore because we've been doing that for way too long instead of just uh you know look at this instead of just putting fucking negative reviews on steam i think it's time to maybe do a little bit of voting with our wallets and not play their game that goes to everything else that is fucking us because the true weapon against these practices is not giving them our time and money so, yeah, let's think about it. I'm saying we need to unite because these motherfuckers are solely focused on the wrong goddamn criteria to fill. Instead of creating good games and memorable experiences for players, they're fucking focused on their life service garbage and interjecting their numbers so they look good in front of the shareholders. I'm telling you, we unite, we don't stand down, and we do not confront to that shit that they're pulling off. This is it, I'm signing off.